Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here bringing you my August mid-month budget report update thing. So I haven't done anything yet. We're, it's the 14th. You'll see this a little later, probably around the end of the week. And I got paid and I'm going to pay a couple bills with you guys. So when I got paid, I my check was $843.00 and 29 cents. I like to put a little uh, box around that. And if you'll notice, um, it is less, this is what I'm talking about, by irregular income. Last month my checks were 1393 and 1300. The month before that was 1244, 1100, 900, you know, so now it's only 843. And I might only expect 800 on the next one or maybe 900. So this month is relatively small compared to the last couple of months. So that is why um, I have an irregular income. I got to figure out things based on the different hours I'm getting every month, which all just depends on how many events there is during the month. Uh, I hope this is... I hope this is good. I want to make a video soon, maybe showing my irregular income uh, list, which Dave Ramsey suggests making a list of the priority of priority order of what you want to pay first. Like rent is like absolutely number one on the list, and then utilities, and then minimum payments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I want to go over that with you guys. Sometimes it changes from month to month depending on what is more important to me that month, uh, depending on what kind of goals I have set for that month. But I, I still do have a list that I kind of start with. It would be good to show you guys sometime. So moving on to the actual bill payments. So 843.29, and then I also got the church checks. They changed the payout, so it's every two weeks now, and I'll usually be picking them up on Sundays. I don't include it in the budget because I immediately cash it and put it into the cash envelopes because it's for groceries and household um, envelopes. But I do note it here so I know how much I got because sometimes we get a little bit more than 150 if there's other things going on with the church. So we got 150 for that. Going back here, my check $843.29, so we'll start on the 11th, $843.29. And immediately I take out my cash envelopes, cash envelopes, and this month I took out $170 for my first one, which is, what is that, $160 less than my usual one because I'm trying to make up for the less pay. So I only took out $170 and I showed you that in my cash envelope video. So that brings me down to $673.29 after cash envelopes. And immediately upon this, I paid my mom my car insurance, which is $105 a month, which brings me down to $568.29. And I crossed that off the list there. Going to uh, the 14th, we'll take that $568.29. And I'm going to pay three bills. $85 for Discover. $130 for my Fed loan. And $9408. I think, no, definitely 94.08 for my credit union loan. So now, being that I'm unsure of exactly how many hours I'll get for this check for the second part of the month, uh, I was kind of iffy about paying the Fed loan because it's lower on my list because I could technically pay zero for a month or two because I used to pay more so it added up and so the payment is at zero but if you look at the actual minimum payments it's 130 
It's just I prepaid a bunch of stuff that it's kind of giving me some leeway there. So I could take a month off, but thinking about that interest that would quickly accumulate there, I try my best to at least make well, to always be making the minimum payments just like I would for my snowball regardless. So I was unsure, but looking ahead, I think I can make it work. I'm going to go ahead and make the $130 payment for the Fed loan. Now my credit union loan is the next thing on my snowball. And so I'm trying as hard as I can, even though I'm paying for some sinking funds before my snowball, I still pay the minimum snowball amount, which is all the previous payments snowballed up. And it would be $290 because it's those previous payments plus $50 is what I'm committing my debt snowball to be. And then I can pay my sinking funds, anything extra. But this month, since it's so short, I can only pay the minimum on that loan. I can't even fund the sinking funds this month uh, unless I somehow things change and I get a lot of hours before the next pay period, before the next pay cut, which actually ends on Sunday. So I just don't think I'm going to pay anything towards sinking funds this month and I'm going to pay absolute minimums on everything else. It just is what it is. Next month uh, should be a little bit better. We'll see how it goes, but at least I'm making minimums. So I have the this written up here. Let's see, $259.21 is what I am left with. So let's mark off Discover, Fed Loan, Credit Union Loan. So $259.21. Now that'll stay with me until I catch up with you guys next time, which will be after my check on the 24th. And by that time I'll have the bills for the electric and city because I don't receive those till about the 20th or so. So I don't even know how much those are gonna be this month. But once I get paid for that, then I can pay other things like rent. And I'll probably catch up with you at the very end of the month once I get my boyfriend's half of the share because then I pay the electricity and city and I get everything squared away. Uh, my phone bill, my Capital One bill, the brunt of my bill pays are right at the end of the month. So really all I have is insurance, cash envelopes of course, and my Discover Fed Loan and Credit Union Loan are all paid with this mid-month update. So um, I hope you guys are doing okay this month. Uh, let me know how your Augusts are going and I will see you guys next time. Bye!